Hello, Steven and Rad. This is your pal Eddie. How you guys doing? What's up? Um, it's officially seven o'clock um, Monday, and I'm finished all the cuts for the RP4 slug. Um, as you can see, all finished. What I did is all the cuts are even. But uh, what I did is I took another section out of the front nose so that you have the lights here and the number boards. And what I'm going to do is when I glue them down, it's going to look like that from the side. And it's going to look like that from the front. Steven, I actually did find uh, some styrene laying around. It was under my bridge um, as supports. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this on top of here like that and I'm going to glue it down and then I'm going to cut and I'm going to file it to the desired shape uh, and then I'll go from there um, it's going to be a little bit tricky with the battery boxes but I think I can do it so I mean it looks cool so far I'll show you what it looks like underneath See, that's the uh, oh and I also removed the little vents on the hood there on the top I left the sand filler hatch because you know even though it's a slug and it's not powered you still gotta get traction because it still has traction motor so it needs sand so left that in there that's what the inside looks like it didn't take me long to get this thing cut I actually have my own templates for it that I made this is the main one that I used. It's called the Slug Template. Um, just some scrap pieces of styrene I had. That's one of them. And then the other one is other one is uh, this one. This one I used on the short high hood part because I couldn't use that one because if I did, when I put it on the battery box, it was too high and it would have taken off too much. So what I did is I used this one so that it would be the correct height all the way around. And then what I did is I used it again and took another chunk out of this to make it the correct height. So yeah, that that's what it's going to be. Yeah? Yes? Um, so that's what it's going to be. I did find a dynamic brake blister, but I'm not sure if I want to use it, but I'll show you. It's actually from my Mantua G20 here. It just pops out undecorated, but uh, I'll see if I can find another one, or we can use your Steven, which I can heavily modify. It'll look cool um, but yeah Radisson and Steven this project is looking good looking very good all I need to do is wait for my glue to come in and once I get that glue in it's all set so and I and when I cut this I tried not to um, gash the, the plastic there so there's hardly any gashes there but other than that she's looking good all right that's a little, that's a quick update for you, Steven, and my friend Rad. So y'all be cool. Peace.